Beer aged in bourbon barrels? Well, that's exactly what they do at the Lexington Brewing Company, and we're about to see how they do it. old art of brewing local beers seems to have been lost and what we're doing here is renewing that art uh, and the future for us and indeed for small breweries is fantastic and as people begin to realize this is truly an excellent range of beer we call them the uh, the triple crown of beers in Kentucky Kentucky light Kentucky ale and Kentucky bourbon barrel ale In the United States, by law, by law, all whiskey to be called bourbon has to go into a brand new barrel. Now part of that is an old union law uh, where you got to keep the woodworkers happy. But over the years, it's been one of the things which has made bourbon whiskey unique. Well, Old Tech has found a use for them right here. And so we take our wonderful Kentucky ale, we put it into a barrel, barrel which has recently had anything from Woodford Reserve to Maker's Mark to Old Forester or any of these famous brands and we top that barrel up with our beer. Alcohol content goes from maybe four and a half sometimes as high as nine percent alcohol and you have one of the most drinkable beers you have ever come across. Uh, this is the brew house. This is where we actually take uh, malted barley and hops and water, yeast, and turn it into uh, beer. Uh, our first step, we take malted barley, run it through a uh, mill, which cracks it open. Then we send it upstairs into the mash tun. Now in the mash tun, we're going to add our second ingredient, which is just warm water. Uh, the naturally occurring enzymes in the malted barley are going to break the starch down and turn it into sugar. Sugar is what we are interested in. We're going to uh, then separate the grains from the sugar, the liquid sugar, which we call wort or brewer's wort. Sugar goes underneath into the kettle. Uh, when we have 800 gallons, we then boil the sugar and we add our third ingredient, which is hops. Now hops are going to give us bitterness and aroma essentially the flavor of the beer. Uh, hour and a half of boiling, then we cool off the sugar to fermentation temperature and add our fourth and final ingredient, which is yeast. Now once we've added the yeast to the sugar, the, uh, the whole, con whole uh, liquid goes into the uh, fermentation vessel where we, uh, the, the yeast is going to turn the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. And as you can see, the carbon dioxide is just allowed to leave the tank through an airlock. Uh, this is my racking arm. I use this to uh, purge the oxygen out of the barrel and then uh, we will fill the, the barrel very slowly with beer so as not to uh, cause any uh, foam. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing the air out of the barrel with carbon dioxide. And uh, if you had smell-o-vision right now you could get that uh, bourbon aroma. For the bourbon barrel filling, the, the beer is flat uh, and we will carbonate it after it's aged in the barrels. For ale and light beer, uh, we actually carbonate it in these tanks and then it's on to kegs and bottles. Uh, we age Kentucky Ale in these bourbon barrels for six weeks is uh, the average. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Uh, we do a lot of tasting to see when uh, we've got the flavors that we are interested in. Sometimes it's four weeks, sometimes it's six, sometimes it's eight. It varies a little bit. And uh, the tasting's uh, the part of the job I enjoy the best. This is our cooler. This is where we keep our finished beer. And as you can see, we've got a fair amount here aging. This, uh, this beer's been aging for about four weeks. So here in a couple weeks, it'll be ready. And we'll uh, take it out of the barrels, carbonate it, and uh, bottle it. This is uh, the bottling process, the uh, first step. 
is the uncasing machine, which takes clean, sterile glassware out of the cases and places it on a conveyor. The second step is a twist rinser, which rinses the bottles out in case there's any uh, cardboard dust. And it also uh, lubricates the bottle so it can go through the rest of the equipment. The uh, third step is the filler, which uh, evacuates any air that's in the bottle and then fills with uh, beer. It's then, uh, it's then crowned with a, uh, with a cap. Then it goes through a uh, World Tandem labeling machine, which uh, puts a neck and body label onto the bottle. then into the casing machine, which places the bottles back into the empty cases. We then uh, glue the boxes, uh, do a little born on dating, and then it's ready, ready to go. And that's it for another episode of Kentucky Farm Bureau's Bluegrass and Back Roads. If you have a story idea or just want to let us know what you think of the show, send us an email to bluegrassandbackroads at kyfb.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.